Good morning, y'all. What's cooking? Maybe some hard-boiled eggs or scrambled eggs. Maybe pancakes. Or maybe just some cereal. Well, you know, you know that I love to cook, and I sure love to eat, but I also love to cook and serve those that are less fortunate than us who may not know where their next meal, their next hot, nutritious meal may be coming from. And that's the truth for our Christian brothers in Houston, Texas. They go by the name of His Disciples Cooking Ministry. Now, they've been doing this for years, not just in Houston, but all over the state of Texas. Now, they bought an old 12-foot van, refurbished it, customized it so that they could haul their customized big old charcoal grill around to cook for all these homeless, hungry folks throughout the state. In about two weeks, they're going to be firing up this grill of theirs to prepare about 300 or so of their signature grilled pork chops to feed two to 300 people a day that come to Loaves and Fishes for two meals a day, seven days a week. Now, as you can see, I'm an honorary member. Got my cap, got my apron. I've had the privilege and the honor to help cook and serve with them on several occasions in the past when I've been in Houston on one of their serving Saturdays. And I can tell you firsthand experience, it is incredible the response that we get from these folks. They are genuinely appreciative of the food and service that they get. You can tell it in their eyes. You can hear it in their voice when they usually thank you and say, God bless. Very moving. So why am I telling you all this? Well, it's because you, IPC, and Mission have not once, but twice now, have helped feed these folks. The first time was after Hurricane Harvey, and his disciples' cooking ministry served over 5,000 people after that hurricane event. As I said, in a couple weeks, they're going to be firing that grill up again, and Mission has just sent out another donation for them. And here's a good part. 100% of every dollar that they have donated goes to buy food and drinks, usually bottled water, and supplies. So I encourage you to go online to cookingministry.org, learn a little bit about it. If the Spirit moves you, there's a donation button in the upper left-hand corner of each one of their pages, and you can donate, if you will. And on behalf of the cooking ministry, the folks they serve, and myself, thank you, God bless you. As Jesus said, for I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. Thank you. God bless.